So because I live in my RV and I usually try to stay within my budget and go to grocery stores instead of going out to restaurants, I find myself usually going to either Walmart or if there's a place uh, available, either a Kroger or an HEB. Now, having lived here in Austin, Texas, I do realize that HEB is usually the popular option for people to get cheap, affordable, and quality food. But after visiting HEB, I find the place okay. It just reminds me of a slightly more expensive Kroger in my opinion, which is all right. I do think the rotisserie chickens are pretty darn good. But other than that, I don't think that when it comes to hot food, I recommend going to HEB other than for their rotisserie chicken. In this video though, I want to talk about the food that I usually do get at Walmart, which is the deli food, and I want to provide a review of it. When I go in, I usually get the plate lunch with two sides, which is really a great option. And because of how inflation has been going on lately, it usually is around $6 or a little bit over $6.50 for a plate lunch. Now that usually isn't it, now it usually isn't that expensive, but because of inflation, what's going on, it's at that high of a price. What I usually get is the potato wedges with the barbecue chicken and macaroni and cheese on the side. That's my usual that's my usual meal and that's what I usually stick to even though there's a huge variety provided at the deli but I usually stick to that the potato wedges are really the best option for me I usually get those independently as well like I'll get like a half a pound of potato wedges because I think the wedges are absolutely phenomenal for for what a Walmart is actually making back there I absolutely love them the barbecue chicken is usually my pick even though General Chow's chicken is my second pick um, the mac and cheese is pretty weak, but because I really love mac and cheese, I usually just go for it, and it's fine. Uh, it's not the best mac and cheese I've ever had, but it's pretty good with some potato wedges and some general chows or barbecue chicken usually when it comes to a plate lunch. Now, they do offer the mashed potatoes and corn, but I wouldn't recommend those because at the deli, they usually sit there for a while and the corn isn't that great. It's a little too sweet sometimes, or sometimes it can be a little bit too dry. And the mashed potatoes really, really can just because they're sitting there be very dry and very unpleasant when it comes to eating them. The popcorn chicken, which usually is provided at the front of the Walmart, is pretty alright. It's a fun meal to have on the go if you're just trying to find something to order very quickly and pick up. Uh, the egg rolls are fine in my opinion. I think they're pretty good. They're, they're also suffer from the problem of being very dry at times, even though I love egg rolls, so I'll just put up with it. The chicken sandwiches, which they usually get, are recommended by people, but to me, in my opinion, I do find them usually too dry. And even with the sauce that comes with the chicken sandwich, I don't really like it overall. I'll sometimes get it, but as a sandwich, it's pretty fine. I know people like to talk about it and give positive reviews about the chicken sandwich there, but Walmart doesn't really provide it when it comes to chicken sandwiches, hot meal chicken sandwiches. Now, coming to the Walmart rotisserie chicken, that is kind of a weak point like I, like I stated earlier on this video. HEB really does provide great quality rotisserie chicken. Lemon pepper, barbecue, all the other options that they provide versus what Walmart usually gives, which is traditional chicken and lemon pepper usually. And when it comes to that, I feel like they don't cook the rotisserie chickens at Walmart long enough. And it always comes out as sort of tasting a little bit weird. I have to add some hot sauce to it just to give it some more flavor, which I, I love doing usually. But eating it on its own, the lemon pepper has a very weak taste. And the traditional chicken is just very, very weird tasting. Whereas HEB's chicken, uh, rotisserie chicken is just phenomenal. I actually really love the variety that they provide and it's really good. That's the one thing I would recommend, like I stated earlier, about HEB is that they provide really quality rotisserie chicken. When it comes to fried chicken now, Walmart really drops the ball. Yeah, I've tried their chicken and it is better than Church's fried chicken, but it doesn't come close to KFC. One time I ate some of their fried chicken and it gave me a headache and I was like, no, I'm not going to eat this ever again. <laughs> it's not very good. And uh, 
If you like fried chicken, maybe try it out and review it for yourself, but Walmart really drops the ball when it comes to fried chicken, and I, I don't think it's really that great of an option. But usually the most reliable food that it, usually the re most reliable meal that I get at Walmart is the plate lunch with two sides. Like I stated, potato wedges, barbecue chicken, or, or General Chow's chicken with a side of mac and cheese. And that's the way to go for me. I usually get that because it's very much affordable and I like going to grocery stores instead of going to McDonald's or Whataburger or any other place like Wendy's. I've been to Whataburger, Whataburger once here in Texas and I think it's a... It's a really average to mediocre burger place. I don't think the burgers are quite phenomenal, so they're not that good. That's just a side review for you guys. But I highly recommend getting the plate lunch with two sides at Walmart. Of course, obviously, it's not the most healthy meal. But if you're on a budget and you just need something quick and just a good hot meal, especially during winter, I would recommend the plate lunch with two sides. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the information that I provided to you and whatever the review of recommending plate lunch plate lunches but um, yeah that's all I have to say and um, yeah Walmart is okay for me as an RVer so thank you for watching like and subscribe and have a wonderful day